हेलो अरुण माय नेम इज़ एंड अगेन आई एम विद अ न्यू पर्सन सो हमारे साथ है रोहित गोयल सर एंड ये मेरे सुपर सीनियर हैं कम एंड सन की जर्नी के बारे में जानेंगे और ये कहाँ से हैं कौन सी कंपनी में इन लोगों ने इन्होंने मतलब मसाही के बाद ज्वाइन किया है सब कुछ पूछेंगे तो सर या गिव यू एंड्रो फर्स्ट हेलो अरुण माई नेम इज रोहित करंटली आई एम वर्किंग एज एस डी थ्री इन वॉलमार्ट एंड I am a uh, 2013 pass out. I have done my engineering in uh, biotechnology from Chandigarh. Uh, after my uh, engineering, I have uh, done done some uh, jobs in operations. I have also joined a bank, a government bank, as a PO. Then I have done some uh, jobs in operations uh, in some startups in Bangalore. So uh, and uh, in in this in the time of when I was uh, working in a startup, I. Actually, uh, got to know about uh, this programming thing or coding part, and uh, I also I also uh, got curious about how these things work, how they make these websites and applications. Yes, uh, and I was good in uh, good in mathematics from beginning. So my elder brother also used to tell me that uh, you should uh, start learning coding. It's it will be uh, good for you. So in two thousand nineteen, I got to know about Masai School, and so I thought that this is my chance. uh that in 6 months i can actually learn uh, coding and join a job a uh, proper job as a developer yes okay so did you ever try mas uh, did you ever try coding before coming at masai how you get interested in coding yeah uh so actually i i tried you know uh, learning coding like from uh, from different uh, different platforms like udemy and youtube courses but it was quite difficult uh, with work to To learn, uh, to learn from scratch, you can say. Yeah. Uh, so I thought, like, uh, I should take a proper break. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. So, how much tough this six month journey was for you? Or when you joined Masai, that was or six month or like that was more than six month because now it's it is of six month. Yeah. So I joined in uh, August and it was completed in uh, February first week. So I think it was uh, about six months only. Yes, yes. Okay. So in the beginning, uh, we started with uh, HTML and CSS at that time. Yeah. So it it was not that uh, tough, but uh, when uh, when JavaScript came, the proper programming language and then React came, and then VS8, it started getting tougher and tougher. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I used to actually, I remember, I used to go to uh, go to some, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, the founders, maybe local or pretty, that uh, I'm not coming up. This is too tough for me, and they they uh, kept me motivated. Uh, okay, you can do it, and uh, like it it is tough. Yes, uh, you know you can say the coding, the uh, programming language, any programming language, maybe Java, JavaScript, or uh, they are tough. They are not easy. They make your life easy, but they are not easy. Yeah, it okay. takes uh, some effort to learn them. Yes. Okay, so React was tough for you also because. Uh, We are like we are facing lots of issues on React. React is not easy, you know. Uh, for React, we like if we will go like we will learn something. New, always keep learning new things in React. When we will see on Google, we always see new things in React. So it is not like easy. So that was tough for you too. Yeah, yeah, of course it was tough for me. Like uh, I was not able to cover for like uh, first three or four weeks. Mm -hmm. I, 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 then I started actually uh, making some applications and. Uh, also started uh, taking help from my peers and from uh, the teaching assistants. Mm -hmm. Yes, then I finally able to you know uh, go with the pace of Masai. So you like uh, you take your help from your colleagues and batchmates too, or um, sometimes from... for some uh, for some you know from, uh, if I am getting stuck somewhere or mm -hmm. any particular uh, I have any particular bug or something I used to ask them. Yes. Okay, so did you learn something from Masai with non-academically also? Because at academically we can we learn lots of things, but you know if our observation is good, we can learn lots of things from the any any platform or anywhere. So I want to know, did you learn something another another than studies? Uh, the first of uh, the first thing is my communication skills was good. Okay. Uh, yes. uh, the second thing is. Uh, Also learn how to uh, work in, with a team uh, and also work individually. How I can contribute individually in any project. Also how I can uh, work in a team and you know to uh, how to uh, you know gather all the work together and how to distribute among uh, ourselves and how to complete the particular work. Okay. Okay. 
so how was your dsc like which is which was tough part for you dsc or coding uh i think both were equally tough i cannot okay more yeah tough. you are you are right both are equally tough uh, hmm. again you can start start off like uh, easy uh, in both the parts yes but when uh, when you, you know when you scale up when you level up uh, yeah you get tougher so you uh, the first thing you have to be consistent uh, you have to practice more and more that is the i think only key to master these things yes okay how many interview you you given after completing masai and in which interview you got selected so i have given around uh, maybe you know uh, close to 20 interviews yes so in, okay. in the last one i got selected okay i got selected in one more interview but uh, uh, you know in the, in the final stage there was some differences between uh, but they were offering a one but i was required okay yes. it was a strengthened uh, or back end developer strengthened only Yes. Okay. Just strengthening. Only mostly. Yeah. So what they asked you like uh, they asked DSC two or normally coding? Ah, uh, both. Mostly both. So they were like one or two questions from DSC, and yeah, okay. yeah, they, they asked basic for JavaScript and uh, some asked basic of CSS and uh, HTML also, but mostly the basic of JavaScript and uh, one or two DSC problems. Yes. Okay. In which company you were placed finally? Yes, uh, the company name was Unlu U N L U. Okay. Unlu got hired. Yeah, uh, that was a startup. When I joined this, uh, uh, the company was yet to launch their product in the market. So uh, it was it, it is a celebrity engagement platform. Uh, so we started off with uh, uh, with booking a video. Like you can book a video with a celebrity, which are available okay. in the platform by giving okay. a particular amount, and they will make a video of like. Uh, 50 to 60 seconds as per your message. Like you have to wish someone, uh, like you know someone whose favorite is present in the uh, in that platform. You can book them, and they will, uh, you know, make a video of wishing them a happy birthday or maybe anniversary or anything else. Uh, that is interesting, now Like from other work. Yeah, yeah. but uh, you know, after after around uh, eight or nine months, we pivoted. Uh, so we started this uh, classes. Uno class is like uh, it's like you tell me only they are pre-recorded uh, lectures. You can purchase mm -hmm. one any one course and they will be pre-recorded lectures. You can watch the lectures and uh, you will be given a certificate. But the the courses are not conventional courses. They are like uh, you can learn tennis, you can learn singing, uh, you can learn writing and acting. And the teachers okay. are uh, celebrities like uh, the tennis is by uh, Sanya Mirza, writing is mm -hmm. by uh, Askin Bon, acting by Nod okay. Vatpai. Yes, yeah, and uh, we have also started a uh, uh, Unlu fellowship. It was a three uh, three months uh, long program, so you can enroll and uh, sorry, so uh, yeah, you can enroll and you can uh, have live classes, uh, learn live from uh, some uh, celebrities. Yes, and there will be assignments, and in the end, they will also help you with a uh, collaboration with uh, some uh, some other you know colleagues uh, or mm -hmm. uh, with some uh, Bollywood guys. To launch their own song or game music, yes. Okay, and what was strength of your company? Like, uh, that was a started startup when you joined, or that was from before when you joined. It um, was a like big or small mini mini startup. Yeah, so uh, they started uh, in January. Started working in January. I joined the that startup in April. Yeah, there okay. uh, around seventy percent of website was done. Uh, Uh, and there, uh, the front end guy was leaving, so I joined. I was the only front end guy there at that time. <laughs> okay. So I built the website. Uh, they built the website. They launched in uh, May. I think on twentieth May they uh, launched their product. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. and uh, so then we pivoted. I at that time I was again I was the only uh, front end developer there, so I actually made the whole uh, website again from scratch. Yes, and we were on CSS at that time. And last year, uh, October, we pivoted to uh, we revamp revamp the website into Material UI. So I okay. did that also. Yes. You know, when you are uh, one and only person in the company, you mm -hmm. know the work. Your want is more than another another ones. So that is a great thing for you. Yeah, yeah. For that, I'm doing a lot actually. Uh, okay. Uh, so that my two years my my experience in Unlu actually uh, that made up to around uh, three or four years of experience in any other company. You can mm -hmm. see. Yes. So, so describe uh, little about your SD one to SD three journey. I am very curious to know about this. 
yeah because it's not easy you, you know when i like when i searched to uh, on the google what experience we need for the sd3 they told like they uh, always show six to five years six years seven years how you get from sd1 to three in two yeah. years it is not easy yeah actually so uh you know uh when i was actually applying uh in other companies uh mm-hmm. in Walmart, there was an opening for sd2 so i applied okay. in that because i was eligible for sd2 only they were asking for an experience of uh, one to three years for sd2 so i applied in sd2 part and uh, in my interview actually uh, they uh, they got to know about my experience in javascript the how much knowledge i have in javascript and uh, i also solved like four or five problems of dsa one was of recursion one was of uh, uh, two was of from uh, uh, some uh, you know uh, 2d matrix and all mm-hmm. yeah so i was able to solve those problems so yeah so they gave me a position as d3 so direct as d1 to 3 yeah as d1 to 3 yes okay. uh, and uh, as i was uh, telling you regarding my two years in you i was the only front end developer there so whenever something new feature came or i i experienced a new bug so i was the only guy i can't ask any senior or someone in the in my company you know to help me so mm-hmm. i had to actually search google and everything to uh, come up with it uh, to uh, you know to uh, bring in new feature to learn everything yeah so that helped me a lot that uh, gave me a, a really good exposure uh, and an experience yes uh, that's why i able to give this uh, uh, interview in warmark Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's why I keep uh, you know telling all the candidates that uh, practice, practice as much as you can. That will actually make you strong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whenever you uh, you know you watch a video of uh, any particular feature or any particular topic or uh, you keep uh, 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 whenever you watch a, a particular you know video of uh, on YouTube or Udemy or what uh, and also uh, you know. Uh, to read blogs or something that is good for uh, you know business knowledge but i think after that you should practice that particular concept uh, mm-hmm. only that you will be able to understand the uh, uh, you know the story behind that particular concept and you will be able to apply it anywhere okay that's great <laughs> guys can you see how much like intelligent right right is because it's not easy uh, your journey is little different from others as d1 2 3 that is a like you know uh, the people are suffering from the react dsa someone someone are encoding js and another another things because no one is expert in everything you know when we will go to company we will learn new things actually i actually i uh, you know i learn i read somewhere the coders are like a gigabit you know we have to learn new new things and when we will go to different different, different companies so that is a thing Hmm. So do you want time, to? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Learning new thing like every day. Uh, so currently, you know, uh, we have given our project to our uh, product managers. They are testing it. So we are writing test cases right now, and I have never written any test cases before. So I have to learn that uh, how to write test cases, and now now I am applying that in my in my product. Okay. And so, you are mentor to in Masai. So please say something about that. Yeah, so I'm mentoring around uh, 60 students right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, their course is completed. They are uh, their placement is going on. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so they have quite in- some interesting, you know, issues uh, which they ask me. Yes, mm-hmm. the the session is quite uh, interactive, and it's quite interesting also. They keep okay. me asking yes uh, that uh, into asking me these kind of questions, how to answer these or. uh they they have some curiosity uh, regarding some particular topic yes so yeah it is going good really i'm good. also eagerly waiting if we will we will uh we will able to see your sessions or we will able to see your live sessions of in course. the coming time yeah. because uh for full time uh, i think i i don't know you will be mentor or not for the upcoming batches mm-hmm. let's see how so at last what do you want to say to our audience or the students who are studying in masai right now uh so uh, like my message to everyone who who are learning who are beginners who are freshers and who are uh, like experienced in in fact uh practice is the key you know if if you have to give uh, interviews you have to practice first then go for the interviews the first thing i will say even even if you have experience of 5 years 6 years 8 years okay first practice dsa from scratch 
like from uh, from easy then uh, you can develop from easy to medium to hard correct and the second thing is do not fear failure okay you will uh, face rejections uh, you might face rejection in many interviews every interview is different every company is different okay and there is much more concept in in, in any language in, in any particular topic okay you cannot learn everything and you cannot expect uh, that in an interview you will get uh, you will get to ask the same question which you have practiced correct yeah don't uh, don't fall for this don't uh, this started from any any failure okay if uh, if you are if you are rejected in some interview uh, take notes take notes of that interview that what they have asked try to practice those okay and move on learn from each interview learn from each step and move on and look for other uh, other opportunity yeah that is quite inspiring and thank you so much uh, so yeah it has kind of you i hope you like this all main circle linkedin aapko de dungi niche description mein you can just go and follow him aur jo bhi puchna hai pareshan mat karna but you can ask anything from him he is a very cool guy and actually uh, bahut sahi hai kuch bhi puchoge he will reply you for sure because he love to mentor students aur kuch bhi ho you can just comment me below and i will I will try to give you a answer of that question. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye.